There were three major concerns raised today after the announcement that Northside Hospital would close. First, how will the patients be cared for? Can the employees being laid off find jobs around Youngstown? And what will happen to the soon to become vacant hospital building? Tonight I went looking for answers to those questions. What's next for Northside is our top story at 11. State Representative John Bacheri was among the state legislators who today spoke with lawyers for Stewart Healthcare after it was announced that Northside Hospital will close September 20th with 388 employees, including 188 nurses, losing their jobs. So it looks like the patients are going to be cared for. You know, perhaps uh, many, if not all, of the uh, employees could find meaningful work here in the valley. Preserve that talent in the valley is, is, is one of the main objectives and goals. But the president of the Northside Nurses Union, Lori Hornberger, was not as optimistic about employees finding jobs. She texted me this statement. Some employees will be able to find jobs, but with employees at Northside Hospital leaving in mass, filling most will be difficult. Then there's the issue of a large vacant health care complex along Youngstown's Gypsy Lane. That is the major concern, to be honest with you. So what we have to do is maybe get together, form some type of co-ops. First Ward Councilman Julius Oliver realizes that a vacant Northside Hospital is not good for Youngstown. He's thinking maybe a public-private partnership could help out. And right now is a time where the city can really see is it's time to start supporting each other. It's time to come together and start figuring things out, getting ideas, having certain town halls and meetings where people can give ideas and really say what needs to happen in Youngstown and maybe pull in those people that can help. Is there a path forward to where, you know, another hospital, perhaps University Hospital, you know, the Cleveland Clinic would uh, would consider purchasing this uh, down the road? I mean, that's something that we want to explore and, 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 and make sure that we're closing out every loop. But Cherry was told any patient still at Northside on September 20th would be transferred to Trumbull Memorial. And Bacheri says Stewart Health has no plans to close Trumbull. The next step for employees, find a new job. There'll be a job fair August 23rd. Northside will stop taking ambulances and admissions in the emergency department at 6 a.m. on September 17th. It intends to transfer, discharge any patient still at the hospital on September 19th, and the plan is to close September 20th. Employees at Northside will be paid through October 14th. There is a 24-hour hotline for more information.